Welcome to Improvement University. If you've been following the news about this new coronavirus, you have probably heard all kind of advice from washing your hands to stay away from people as much as you can. This advice sounds reasonable, but at the end of the day, who is the one that is going to protect you from any outside threat? It's not your hand sanitizer or a ventilator, it's your immune system. Why is it then that nobody is talking about the multiple things you could be doing to be many times healthier than you are today and thus be more protected from any outside invader? That's why in today's video I will share with you the most important information to help you boost your immune system and help you keep any outside invader as controlled as possible. Disclaimer. I'm not a licensed healthcare professional. Consult your doctor before making any drastic lifestyle change. That said, let's begin with the first thing you should be doing to strengthen your immune system, which is getting quality sleep. A recent study from 2012 done by Frieda Gans analyzed the immune system capacity of patients in the intensive care unit. Patients who had altered sleep cycles showed a compromised immune system and when these same patients were treated in a way that would not alter their sleep as much, their immune system's capacity improved. This means that sleep is directly correlated with our immune system's capacity to protect and take care of us. Because of this, we have to make our sleep a priority. If we don't sleep the adequate amount our body is demanding from us, we will be more at risk for any possible infection. The best things you can do to get quality sleep are eating at least 3 hours before going to bed, sleeping in a dark and silent room, leaving your phone and computer outside the bedroom, go to bed early. Personally, I go to bed at 10 pm and wake up between 5.30 and 6 am and I wake up fully rested. Coming up next is the second thing you should be doing to boost your immune system and it is using food as your medicine. I'm a strong believer that we make or break our health through the food we eat. Every day we're making decisions on what we will eat and we usually tend to go with what tastes good until one day we get a disease and we wonder what happened. Everything is the result of our previous decisions, including our health. That's why today I want you to encourage to adopt healthy eating habits for your own well-being. Avoid added sugars and artificial sweeteners, hydrogenated oils and processed food. Focus on consuming fruits and vegetables, green smoothies and probiotic rich foods. In case you want to try it, my favorite immune boosting smoothie is made of spinach, green apple, pineapple, celery, flax seeds and water. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Next up on our list, the third thing you should be doing is relaxing. An article on the webpage of the American Psychological Association that is titled stress weakens the immune system, concludes by stating that long-lasting stress has negative effects on one's health and relaxation strengthens our health. One of the best ways you can relax is by stop triggering negative emotions, by quitting news, social media and gossip. On the other hand, you can practice stress-reducing activities like yoga and meditation. Yoga helps you connect with your body and focus your attention on your bodily sensations, which in turn helps you be more mindful. Meditation helps you realize that you are not your thoughts, you are the observer of them, and therefore you have the capacity to act on your thoughts or let them banish. Moving on, the fourth thing you should be doing to boost your immune system is supplementing with the best vitamins for it, which are vitamin C and vitamin D. Vitamin C has a strong immune properties which helps the immune system fight against viral infections like the cold and flu. Vitamin C can be found mainly in citrus fruits and leafy greens. Vitamin D is crucial for our immune health since our immune cells contain receptors for it. Vitamin D is a byproduct of exposing our skin to the sun. It can also be found in capsule form. If you're buying a supplement, look for vitamin D3, not D2. Finally, the last thing of our list of best things to boost your immune system is exercising at least three times per week. When you exercise, you are putting your body under stress. Stress triggers our natural ability to adapt to it. This, in turn, makes us stronger against any potential form of illness and stress. Exercise also helps flush bacteria and toxins through the sweat and breath. It also helps reduce emotional stress. When these factors are combined, 
you realize that you have a very potent combination that can enhance the immune system's capacity to fight any potential danger. I want to know from you, how are you taking care of your health? Please comment in the section below. If you are interested in taking care of yourself, I will see you in the next video.